The excitement of fishing a brand new venue is immense. I absolutely love hitting a beach that I've never been on before. I know, we've been talking about it, haven't we? I know, and uh, I can't planning wait. Planning this trip. So, part one of Darren and Tom's big Isle of Wight adventure went swimmingly well, if your name's Darren. <laughs> Sorry. It's not funny. No, I know it, I know, but. Yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably cut all that footage, to be fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Darren thrashed me this morning. Um, and to be fair. It's the same bait, it same, it was just pure. Jesus. I mean, our baits were like. 10 foot apart oh, <laughs> and you missed that bite as well which well, didn't help well no I was too busy trying to you know, help you with your fish bite <laughs> anyway so yeah so this morning I think, what were we fishing an hour and a half something like that hour and a half great tick, start tick weren't it box. amazing start we, uh, amazing start just dropped our um, stuff off and uh, yeah. just nipped up didn't we and we did. bagged a couple Brilliant. in and out <laughs> yeah, it was an in and out job anyway so where are we Darren you have brought me to the wonders of the Isle of Wight to and beautiful Shanklin Beach Shanklin Beach Shanklin Chime yep. according to that sign up there in hope for in the a hope big for a blonde. early blonde. There's been a few blonde rays being caught. Uh, and as you guys know, I've had a, a bit of a blonde hunt started. I've had a couple of sessions down Chesil. I managed three blondes on one trip. Yeah, yeah. Which if I glued them together, might have gone 10 pounds. Definitely. We are, we try to get a, a double figure blonde yep, away amazing. from the Bristol Channel. I'm not saying it's easy, but we want an open, nice beach. Yeah, uh, I'd much know. rather fish a nice, shallow sandy beach we'll be there next week wouldn't we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's just lovely but i mean we've come over here and the weather is ridiculous it's been like summer it's mate it's been ridiculous it's so warm we're walking back from the bass fishing session eating ice cream <laughs> looking like a couple of tourists it's amazing but downside of that is am i confident about catching a fish in the next two hours we have got shallow clear water bright sunshine small tide small tide Mm, no, I think it's going to be a, 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 a sort of a, a sit on your hands for two hours, yeah. wait for darkness, and then hopefully. So we'll check back in. with you in about three hours. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. But there we go. So here we are. We're at Shanklin Beach. We're going to catch a big blonde ray. Yeah, I keep, You're not, I keep calling if you it. Catch one, I'm going to cut your line. No, I keep calling it Mission Impossible because we're turning up on a new venue with high hopes, but we can do it. Can do let's it. get it, Tom. We know what we're doing. We're going to catch him, Ray. Get them, mate. Let's get them. Do it. <laughs> Let's make the most of the uh, daylight, shall we? Now, my regular viewers will have watched me do this a million times, so feel free to skip through the next five minutes, but let's have a little look at how I uh, present a ray bait, shall we? Ever so ever so simple. First of all, rather predictably, diagonal bar. Um, apparently, there's a fair bit of tide on this venue, so I've got a nice long snood. I'm on four foot on this one. Um, if you find they tangle up a little bit, not enough tide or whatever, just trim it back. Go three foot, do whatever, whatever suits the uh, environment you're fishing in. Um, keep checking the rods. Right, bait for the evening. I have got sprats and I have got anchovies. Um, but let's have a look at the sandal because I just love sandals for ray fishing, especially this time of year. Single medium sandal. Trim, head off, just behind eyes, and trim about a centimetre or so back from the tail. So we have a nice little chunk of a sandal. Get yourself some squid, about the same length as your sandal, and just cut yourself a nice thin strip, like so. So about the same, same length and same width as that bit of sandal there. I'm using a, a panel, 2-0 panel, circle at the top, uh, J-hook at the bottom. Um, if you're using a dongle, then obviously just bait up the dongle, but first things first, get your sandal and thread it on, just like it's a worm really, so thread it all the way up that J-hook. You can actually use a baiting needle, so if you sort of struggle doing this, just whack your sandal on a, on a baiting needle, like so. That bit's easy peasy. Now, grab a two-pronged baiting tool and slide that up the sand hill. What I try and do here is I try and slide the tool up the same side that the line is going down. So the line is going down that side, not that side of the sand hill. When you, uh, when you thread it up the line, that'll make a little bit more sense than it might do right now. I'll explain why in a minute. So there we go. So two prong tool in sand hill. Squid, lay that alongside like so. Just sort of hold it in place with your finger and thumb here and get your bait elastic. So the first few wraps of your bait elastic are just very, very light. No tension at all, look. So just let it come out the tool, out the elastic holder. 
just basically that's just holding those two bits together which is going to make your life a lot easier so once you've done that apply a little bit of light pressure with your finger and thumb and just start working with nice little neat coils all the way up i'll try and do it nice and slowly all the way up that sand over the squid like so once you're there i just put a slight different angle on it and i'm going to work in nice neat coils all the way down you don't want to be pulling this elastic too tight you don't want to be pulling it so tight that you know it's cutting into the bait and it's deforming the bait it's cutting it to pieces so nice and neat and then once i'm there i just do a, a few little wraps around snap it off hold on to your elastic so you don't lose it inside the tool and that's that slide that bit out and we're there it's absolutely beautifully presented oh hang on forgot to put my panel hook in didn't i just nick that in the top there just lightly so maximum hook exposure going on there super neat streamlined sand and squid bait that should cast beautifully you don't need anything bigger than that for rays i see so many people strapping two three four sand eels together do you know what that's really really good for honestly it's good for wasting your money you can catch as many fish it's the same size fish on one sand eel as you will on two or three strapped together so by all means stop wasting your money single sand eel you can put a little strip of squid alongside it if you want to you don't even have to do that but that is it that is the perfect sand eel ray bait situation report so i just uh, reeled in my first cast admittedly it's been out there for ages because i thought it's a bit lazy not going to catch much in daylight um and i caught nothing in fact i had absolutely no bait left not even a mildest scrap of skin clean 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 um so there's crabs other interesting fact lovely gentleman came down drove his boat down the little slipway behind me potted out checked his pots he's got out there came back in me being inquisitive like i am so i said oh you know how'd you get on anything anything good in the pots any lobsters crabs and he showed me a box full of spider crabs it's march great so yeah there's loads of spider crabs here already in march that doesn't bode well <laughs> he said it's the earliest he's ever seen them right bit of a dilemma time um uber confident the day was going amazingly um, we've had no we've problems had, at all have we and then and then we've just had an hour of spider crab fishing yeah and not only that we've just spoke to a, a local fisherman that's out with yeah. pots and he said his pots are full of crab well yeah. spider crabs at that so we've just um, done we've just done two casts each both retrieved no bait left crimping up and down the line um they're there so we're we're thinking right we could fish keep doing that all night long get all gets probably trash through our bait get, trash, through get our rigs. trash through our rigs yeah. um or we could strike while the iron's hot and uh whilst it's still really early in the evening it's only half five still move so we're yeah. thinking about heading up to Sandown. yeah i think we're gonna head east uh, a yeah. couple of miles north. and uh northeast whatever north, north elephants yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i think we're gonna, we're gonna we're go that way. and because the thinking is there's more rock and reef here yeah which is which is which is in theory holding more crab possibly yeah and the fact that we know there's crab here hopefully up on the cleaner beach there might be less crab less crab and i think we go about a fish a bit quicker if there is a little bit of a problem okay. and then but we've been worried about the dogfish all week haven't we thinking what if we just get dogged dog, out dogs, 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 there's out. dogs <laughs> everywhere around every coastline at the moment there's yeah. dogfish and only little ones and i'd give my left arm for a dogfish over a spider crab i don't, <laughs> I don't want to fish through tons of spider crabs so let's make the right let's decision hustle, mate come on let's do it welcome to Isle of Wight Ray Fishing Part 2, the crab free session. So we have arrived at Sandown, and what a beautiful end of the bay this is. So we were just over there half an hour ago. Um, I'm glad we moved. I think we've made the right decision. It's only 25 past six now. Um, I just think if we'd have left it for another hour or so, you know, got to seven, half seven, and we were still losing baits and losing rigs to spiders, we'd have gone, oh, it's too late now, I can't be bothered. Um, so I thought, you know, it's early enough, strike while you're on let's get moving. So we've come down this end of the bay. Um, we were just unpacking in the car park, and a very nice gentleman 
Oh, I did ask his name, I've just forgotten. Typical me. Anyway, he was just unpacking. He's a local. Um, I said, oh, do you fish often? He said, yeah, I fish quite often. I said, do you ever get blonde raising? He goes, oh, yeah, I've had a few. I was like, oh, OK. So a little bit of confidence back. Um, he did say it's, you know, predominantly small eyes and you get a few thornies and the odd spotty and things like that. So we shall see. But there we go. I am here. Um, and the other thing you will have noticed, because I know you're an observant bunch, I've decided to have a slight wardrobe change and I've gone with the pink hat. I think that'll bring me more luck. Oh, guys. I don't know what to say. First cast back in. Not a scrap of bait left on there. Um, I shall do my next few casts. Just picking up the pace, really. 15 minute turnarounds, get them in, get them out. I'll figure out a timing where I've still got a little bit of bait left. Um, and we shall go from there. Just, I'm just going to work harder. I'm trying to be optimistic a little bit. <laughs> this evening's going a bit disastrous so far, isn't it? Never mind, come on, think positive, Thomas. Two bits of good news. Firstly, I've just had two casts retrieved with immaculate bait, and Darren has just had the same. Um, so hopefully the spider crabs have gone to sleep. I'm not entirely sure if scientifically they do do that, but they seem to have done here. So that's a positive. Um, and the other positive is this rod seems to have just done a little bit of a mert mert thing. So things are looking up. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so you may have heard the uh, Darren's prediction as to what this probably is. <laughs> I'm hopeful, mate. Oh, just seem to have dropped back slack a little bit again. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a... Yes, I would say that's a fish. Not a particularly big fish, but a fish, and not a spider crab. That's the important part. Definitely feel it sort of dragging up a bank out there. So for the first, I don't know, 20, 20 30 yards of the retrieve, it just feels like it's dragging up something. There's a little bit of weight on there, mate, but it could well be a doggy. It just did the same as the last cast, where the first 20 yards or so was sort of dragging up, yeah. up the slope. So it felt like it was something a little bit bigger, but... Um, I don't know, every now and again, actually, it gives a nod. Oh, it's a ray! Oh, it's a ray! Yeah, it's a nice one! Oh, well done, mate! Oh, that's a lot bigger than it felt! That's me saying, oh, it's just a dog! <laughs> Look at that! Well done, mate! <laughs> oh, yeah, do you know what? Actually, well what done. What type of ray? What type of ray is it? Show uh, me, show I know, me. I did think for a second. Oh, it's a small line, okay. Of course it is. Not disappointed to catch no, a small line. Shut up, no, I'm really pleased. Okay, there we go. First Enjoy ray the of the session. Thank you, matey. That was on. Oh, brilliant. Uh, do you know, that was on just plain old sand deal. Plain oh, sand deal. Didn't even whip any swid along. Well done, mate, honestly. Circle hook, corner on the mouth. Let's go and have a little look there, shall we? Oh, that's a banger, mate. That's well there done. There you go. Well done. Fish number one for the evening. Nice flappy one. And your one. first Isle of Wight ray. My first Isle of Wight ray. Not the species <laughs> I wanted, not the size I wanted, but I don't care. I'm really happy to catch that. Brilliant, there we go. Mate. Right, let's get him straight stuff. back. I'm not going to bother weighing that one because um, it's nowhere near a PB or anything. No, you have to do that. Oh, I've got to touch my gonads, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. It's a male. That's the gonads. <laughs> the traditional touching. <laughs> a little leech mark or... Oh, he's actually got a hole for him. Oh, he has, yeah. Ooh, that, yeah, that is a, no, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. a leech. That's a leech mark. Yeah. Well on. done, mate. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, try not to get a boot full. Kudunk. There he goes. Lovely. Hmm. It's kind of slowly it has, it? come back up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 there you go, mate. Yeah, you got the tiniest, tiniest. You probably didn't pick that up on camera at all. But that just went... It's just a little nod, nod. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a little doggy, but after the last ray... Right, should we bring it in? Let's bring it yeah, in. Yeah, and again, mate. Did it go again, did yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a fish there. Probably not my double-figure ray. But a fish, nonetheless. Two and two casts. Oh yeah, 
bit of weight. Oh yeah, a little nod pull down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a bit. Fishy, that's a bit of an active on. one, actually. It doesn't feel really I'll heavy, but it down. Was, it was sort of having a good nod. Oh, there he. Oh no. Woof, woof. Oh no. He's done you, isn't he? Did that dogfish actually give me a bite like that? I felt that nodding. Unbelievable. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! People are laughing at me down the beach now. <laughs> Lifted into it. Oh, 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 that's definitely, yeah, that's a good fish. Nod, nod. So the last one I said, oh, feels like a dog's not doing a lot. <laughs> nice way. You know your stuff, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> I'm an expert, me, really. <laughs> Yeah, This is what we came for, Tom. That's what we came for, guys. An that is Isle what we came White for. Isle of Wight pouting. Isle of Wight, Prince of the Sea. Yes. You can catch forget the bass, rays. forget the rays. This is it. Dogs. That's the money shot, guys. Get That's it. my million Go views on. right there. That's it. Let's get her back. Get her back so she can reproduce <laughs> and create more. Well, Gary next door has just had a dog as well, so. Oh, is he? We might just be into a Brilliant. little. A little period of dogs on the tide. Yay. Easy peasy, he's got something on. What do you reckon, <laughs> mate? I think it's a spider crab. It's doing nothing, it's just heavy. And I'm pretty sure it's not just a grip lead in. Mm, no, it's not. I, I thought I felt it. I think it's just hitting the ledge right coming digging up. digging in a bit. Yeah. Could it be a thorny? Could be a thorny, yeah. They mm. have a tendency of digging in. Yeah. I did see some bites, like just a couple of nods every now and then. Okay. It's a spider crab. Is it really? I knew it. <laughs> oh, and a, and a oh, dog. dogfish. <laughs> who ate who? It's a double shot. Possibly the least popular double shot. <laughs> That's an absolute shock when it comes to double, double shots, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, mate. But, well, congratulations. Thank you, mate. That was, you know, just what you want to drag in 100 odd yards. That's, uh, oh, I, you know, I was thinking fawny, come on. I knew it was a spider on there. <laughs> spider and dog. All right, so Darren had the dream double. I feel like I may have laughed. Just a You're minute a little bit too soon. soon, mate, yeah. Just a minute too you soon. You outdo me on everything, didn't you? You yes. have all the luck. Yes. Double dog, double dog on the pedal. Oh. We're starting to get bites, though. Yeah, yeah to be fair, that's a good thing. We are getting coming bites now. thick and fast. I mean, there might only be dogs, but there we go. Two, it's reassuring. Two, it's not knowing the beach, you know, you don't know what distance we put in the baits at, and I suppose if you're catching the dogs, you can catch a race. Yeah, at least we're catching something. Well, you can anyway. Situation report. We have just had two hours of absolutely relentless dogfish. One after the other after the other on every conceivable bait. Oh, the only time you didn't catch a dogfish, you were lucky enough to catch a spider crab. Or at least have your bait chewed off and your snood crimped by a spider crab. Oh, I am a broken man. I am done. I am defeated. I don't ever want to see a dogfish or a spider crab for the rest of my life. Look, this one's not even hooked. There's nothing in its mouth. It's just lassoed itself. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I am genuinely broken. Right, we are packing up. We're gonna go home. We're gonna get some Zeds, up early in the morning, back on the bass. Um, and then if we can find the energy and motivation to go again for a little bit tomorrow afternoon, early evening before I ferry home, we will. Um, if not, if I can't face catching more dogs, <laughs> then that's the end of my Isle of Wight ray hunt. Do you know what? Loved the venue, loved the venue. Um, I know there's rays here, it's such a nice beach, it just looks so good. Um, but the dogs, relentless. Right, let me untangle this one, and then we will see you guys in the morning on the bass. Finish not even dog, hooked, eh? not even hooked. Just lassoed this one. Well, that takes so much skill, Wow, mate. It's only the best anglers. Welcome to winter. Yesterday we had summer. <laughs> yeah, we changed, bi didn't it? bypassed all of the middle months 
And now it's winter again. Yeah, it gave us a little taster oh, and then said, nah. What a difference a day makes. Yeah, um, today has been a disaster for us, sadly, isn't it? Looking forward to this road trip for so long. Yeah, yeah I know. So you build up all that excitement. I did. Well, you've always got to stay just the grounded. Yeah, exactly, yeah. that's it, mate. The yeah, bassing was fun. I enjoyed that. Um, so the, the plan originally was obviously to fish Wednesday night, uh, which we did. Um, yeah, the venue we chose though. But the, the dogs have turned up en masse in big numbers and spider crabs. Completely didn't expect that. They turned up in big numbers. The dogs seem to be all around our coast anyway. They have, yeah. Everywhere. Um, uh, spider crabs, I hope they're not all around our coast now. When we get back, they followed us. Oh God, I you imagine that. You, so know, you guys can keep them here. dogs and now spiders. Yeah, no thanks. Should we I'll go carp golf? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our, Today plan was to go to uh, Chail. Yeah, Chail. And what along is, it, uh, you got Marine, Atherton, not Chow. Marine Drive, what was it called? Oh no. Oh, I don't know, anyway. Brain fog, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, all along there. Military um, road. Military road, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, but it seems the island's falling apart. Uh, yeah, the island is falling apart. Falling apart. Um, yeah. And there's, there's, some, there's some cliff falls there. I think, I think Atherton the today's been closed, closed off. Yeah, Atherton Atherton today's been closed, off. closed off. It's been off. put in the paper because um, there's huge cracks. Yeah, um, basically dangerous. So we ditched that all together. Um, and not really knowing the island particularly well. We thought we'd play it safe, didn't we? We just came back to Sandown. So here we are again <laughs> on the venue we were at last night. Uh, um, and just sort of like, to be honest, I think we're just going to sit down for a few hours, chuck a couple of lazy baits out. <laughs> this might be the end of our video. Bit of a bit of a damp squib on the ray hunting front, but there we go. Never mind. We've had a good fun adventure. I've enjoyed it. I actually, do you know what? I love the island. Some of these beaches look fantastic. Yeah, we have I've to get back in the summer. Of, yeah, we're definitely definitely going to come back. More species of target. Um, definitely come back when the dogs and crabs bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there we go. I hope you've enjoyed our little adventure. Um, if um, if we catch anything, we'll bring you back. <laughs> but I got a funny feeling we'll probably pack up reasonably soon and go and catch a ferry home. The I bass need... fishing was good, mate. That was. I, I need some zeds, man. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, my bed is calling. I can hear it yeah. across the water. But we'll give it. A, we'll give it a last couple of hours, um, just on the off chance. But but there we go. Right. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the vid, um, and we will catch you on the next one, which will probably be a home somewhere, a little bit more sedate.